Hello everybody. I hope all is going well for you guys these days. Uh, right now, I'm going to work on an area outside of Wolfgang's house. Wolfgang moved in just a few days ago uh, and I wanted to uh, make his area special. So let me uh, pull up a picture of the inside of his house for you all to see. So as you can see here, uh, Wolfgang has a, a kind of a woody, rustic looking house, but it's still modern. Uh, it has the ironwood furniture set, some wooden planking and a rug. Uh, it has a nice double fridge and microphone. Not microphone, microwave. So he's, he's all decked out. Uh, when I first saw the inside of his house, I was a little unsure what I wanted to do. And then I looked up his bio and I read that he enjoys reading as a hobby and that he would like to be a journalist someday. Uh, so I thought, hmm, maybe I can uh, model that area after uh, the booksellers or Le Bouquiniste along the River Seine in Paris. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that today. All right, let's go back to the game. Uh, I pulled up some pictures for you. Um, the booksellers uh, in Paris along the Seine, uh, or the River Seine, uh, are... Um, actually a collection, I believe, of several hundred. I believe I read 600 uh, stalls or booksellers uh, that uh, use these green um, book type, um, or book, uh, or uh, these green kind of cases, I guess, or boxes where you could put books. Uh, as you can see, uh, each one of these are full to the brim of uh, books and prints. Uh, when you go visit Paris, it's a really great uh, cultural and tourist experience. Um, the photo here also shows that uh, these are not just along a river, but they're on this great um, uh, sidewalk uh, lined with trees. Uh, and you can kind of see hidden in the back there, probably uh, one or two booksellers sitting in a chair, uh, you know, kind of keeping an eye on uh, folks who might want to purchase some of their stuff. So I'm going to do something similar here. I'm going to terraform a stone area here to be like one of those uh, sidewalks. It might look more like a little bit of a plaza here. Uh, I've got some green uh, stalls, or some stalls that I've customized to be green. Place a few here, and to match Wolfgang's house, I have a couple of uh, ironwood uh, carts um, or uh, low, low tables. Uh, which I can put some books on. Uh, and what's neat about the iron cart is it comes with some books on the bottom of it. So I think that's a perfect fit. Uh, and I got some trees to uh, line along the side and I think I could throw in a few street lamps as well. I'm not sure quite yet before I get started whether uh, this might be too much space uh, for uh, the stalls. So I might make a little bit of a reading area here uh, not too sure, but we'll see when we get there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put on my construction hat and start terraforming this, this uh, sidewalk. Oh, I miss my cute little brown hat already. All right, this shouldn't take too long. I like this arch tile path, by the way. I have this in other parts of my island. Although I think the other uh, stone path would look great as well. So I was reading up on... Oh, I don't want to go this far because I want room for trees. Um, on a little bit of the history of these booksellers. And apparently there have been booksellers uh, along this river in Paris uh, since the 1600s. They uh, started out with essentially blankets uh, on the bank that over time have uh, you know, built these uh, stalls or boxes. Yeah, I also read that they played an important role during the French Revolution, that there were uh, a number of political papers and publications that were uh, obtained or distributed um, th 
through them. Uh, but nowadays, I think it's a little bit more of a touristy thing. Although you can certainly still, I believe, obtain, uh, you know, kind of some, you know, older or perhaps rarer prints, which is kind of neat. Nowadays with COVID, however, uh, it is getting tougher. I was just also reading a bit on uh, some just recent news or press releases about how they're kind of struggling, as with most industries that rely on tourism. So I'm hoping that their um, cultural significance will help protect them in some way, uh, because this is a really neat experience and idea. You know, these days, we buy all our stuff online, <laughs> it gets shipped to us, uh, but to actually be able to go to uh, um, a neat area uh, and uh, you know, walk along a river and purchase something kind of rare or unusual uh, is not a common experience anymore. Okay, I think I am done for now with terraforming. Great. Wonderful. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and place these stalls and see how uh, they look and move them around and put things around them if needed. Oh, by the way, I had uh, also uh, customized these stalls with a custom pattern uh, that looks like books uh, so that the uh, both the top and the bottom uh, look like there might be books on the bottom there. So I think that's pretty neat. You know, I might extend that a little bit further. Well, I want room to walk past it. Okay, I think this is good for now. I can always extend it a little bit. Let's see. I'll put a ironwood cart. I think I want people to see the um the books. So I'm going to pull it out just a little bit and put some books on top. Oh, that's neat. Alright, I have another stall. Oh, very nice. Very nice. And I believe there was a, um, I'm kind of wondering if there's enough space. You know, I'm going to push this up a little bit more. I'm going to have to put on that construction helmet again. as I mentioned earlier, I think I would like to put a little, uh, some chairs here for, like, a reading area. So let's, let's see what I can do with this. Push that up a little bit more. And I think it will push it up further. And a chair for the bookseller to have a place to sit. What happens when uh, there are too many items in my... Oh, there it is. It's the last one I look at, of course. Very nice. Uh, let's put some books and magazines and such on these stalls. Hmm, let's make this one mainly a bookseller. 
find a book here. Yeah, this person... I think I want some magazines. Where? Here we go, stack magazines. Hmm. Let's try a document stack, maybe? That works. Uh, and I think I want to put have a magazine stand I can put in front of this one. Oh, they're called magazine racks. I'm sorry. Table. I think I might, uh, you know, utilize some uh, artistic license here and put one this way and have some more books. I wonder if I could put two things or does only one fit on this? I actually don't know. can fit too, although that kind of, that looks kind of funny. Hmm. Does it do the same thing on this side? <laughs> it does the same thing, that's not quite as bad. <laughs> Let's see here. That looks weird. I know, I will take the book stand off and just put the stacked magazines here because that seems to fit that whole table a bit better. There we go. See, you never know until you try. Oh, this is looking fun already. <laughs> this is quite exciting. Uh, let's put some trees around here. Hmm, I think let's see if they'll let me put a tree here. Sometimes by the the bridges, they get a little finicky in this game. That works. Let's see. I can put maybe one here. Well, that feels too far from the other one. Oh. Let's see. Maybe one here. right here. That looks pretty evenly spaced out, I would say. Oh, I can recognize trees. <laughs> All right, another tree here. Uh, as you can see, I'm currently in the middle of fall, so all my trees that are harder trees is pretty uh, red color. Which I quite like. Oh, wonderful. Let's see here. I have some benches to kind of fill this in and where I can put some of those street lamps around. I get a little bit of artistic license. It's not in the pictures, but I would imagine that there are uh, um, some kind of benches along the road here. Oh, okay, a little closer. Uh, in real life, too. not where I wanted it. I'm running around because I like to have space uh, so I can run around here uh, even though I'm, I'm decorating and doing something that looks nice. I still want to play the game and be able to run around. So I personally like to keep things um, spaced enough where that movement can happen. Yay. <laughs> you 
You know, I'm thinking maybe I will terraform this out a bit more. Because I, I have, I've been secretly wanting to put that reading area in. Mm. All right, let's go ahead and move these out temporarily a bit so that I can do that real quick. Moving, moving, moving. Great. Let's build some more, uh, I don't know, sidewalk or plaza. a pretty damselfly there. I do like this time of year in this game. I've been having a lot of fun trying to capture those maple leaves as they fall. I do wish this lasted longer though. It feels like fall is going to be over in just a few weeks or so. Both in this game and in real life. I wonder what's in these magazines. <laughs> I think the one I have uh, customized it to is the news uh, news magazines. Uh, but I do think it's really neat. This one's the fashion one, I believe. Uh, I think it's really neat that we can do something different with each. I look plenty of room for people to mill about and take photos and peruse the stalls. And I'll make a little reading area here now. I uh, like these uh, garden chairs and uh, little garden square tables, or natural square tables. Here we go. So let's do one facing this way. Which is enough room to walk around. I might move this a little bit over if I can get away with it. Oh, I might not. I might not. Let's see. Oh, I did get away with it. All right, this person is reading a book. Let's give this person a magazine. Lovely. So it feels a little bit more symmetrical. Uh, I'm just moving this out now so I can get behind there and pull that lamp in place. Oh, I could have gone around the back too. Okay. Oh yeah, that lines up pretty well. And it feels sort of symmetrical with this side and that. And it's not quite exactly the same, but I might be able to make it look more similar by pushing one of those benches over. Oops. Moving around. Oh, now I'm sitting. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I have an outdoors magazine open to that one here. Oh, very good. Alright, what am I going to put back here? I do have more of those carts. Maybe I'll do a, a cart here. Oh, 
Ah, and I can put the, the books here. And book stands. Oh, fun. Hmm. No, I think I like... Hmm. That's better. It's a little bit closer in. And I do like to be able to walk around the back. Oh, I think this is good. This is good. Alright, so I have... Uh, an area inspired by the Bouquiniste along the River Seine in Paris where I have booksellers in green stalls showing off their wares including magazines and books and of course the bookseller needs their own chair uh, and they are on a plaza or sidewalk lined by trees and lamps and benches and my own artistic license was to add a little reading area so people had a little space to read too. Great. All right, let me uh, take off my construction hat because I want to wear my little brown hat again. And figure out how to take my photo. Let's see. I think this looks pretty good. And let's move me out of it. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can get a little bit away from the pumpkin patch, because that seems to be distracting from the photo. Okay, that works. Oh, a pretty butterfly. That, that's really nice, actually. And I'm going to find a place to put my handy sign. Where should I put that sign? I will put it here. That way everyone knows what this is supposed to be. It's Wolfgang Booksellers. <laughs> Great! Well, I hope you all uh, enjoyed uh, building a uh, booksellers area with me. Uh, and that you are also equally inspired to maybe put a little reading area or outdoor uh, bookshop uh, on your island as well. Great everyone, have a good day. Bye-bye.